Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Torvald Urus, and today I've got a fully passive T5 exotic Gila for you. Before I get into the guide, I just wanted to remind you all about the in-game channel Abyssal Lurkers, as well as the Discord, which you can find linked in the description below. Um, if you're interested in talking about the Abyss, you have questions, or you want to be the person giving advice, these are the places to do that. Just hop in the in-game channel, join the Discord, and there you go. So here it is, the T5 exotic passive Gila. I've had an incredibly easy time farming with this fit and uh, this guide's not going to be very long because honestly it's pretty easy everything you see here is absolutely necessary to farm t5s and you can only do exotics i know you're looking at this fit probably thinking about gamma sites but uh the damage on this thing is too low to do gamma sites so you'll have struggles there but t5 exotics this has been pretty simple so let's go ahead and jump on in here. This first encounter here is one that many people have struggled with, and unfortunately, I did not get the hardest version of this spawn. I did, however, get a nasty version of this spawn in, uh, during one of my live streams, and you can actually find that in the last video that I posted. Uh, the link to that will be in the top corner of the screen. A simple strategy for this encounter is just to fly directly away and send drones into the fray, and you can use your missiles to take out the small stuff that come after you, but get away from these guys to mitigate the damage. And of course, it would not be an Abyssal Guide if we did not go over Charybdis Tyrannos. So something that's really cool about using this fit is you do not have to worry about newts at all. However, you will want to pay attention to your capacitor to use your afterburner, especially in scenarios like this. I actually had a really close call because uh, before I came into Charybdis Tyrannos, I actually ran into a lot of newts in a room and my capacitor was empty. And then I came into this next room with Charybdis Tyrannos with zero cap. And I almost died because I couldn't activate my afterburner. I was getting webbed and damage application was just too much. I ended up pulling through, but it kind of showed me that I actually need to wait for my capacitor before going into the next encounter. So even though cap isn't much of an issue, make sure you let your cap regenerate before you go into the next encounter because you never know what you're going to need. For these encounters with Caribidus Tyrannos, make sure you kill anything that webs you. Um, obviously, nudes are going to be an issue because you need your afterburner going. It is the only thing on this bit that uses cap, and you need to keep it going. So take out the cruisers, mitigate damage from Caribidus Tyrannos by flying manually, and uh, just make your way to her at an angle. That way you're not taking, taking direct damage. Next up here is the Lashak encounter. Uh, pretty simple here, just send drones in and don't die. And here's the final encounter, a bunch of Dracovex, Kikimoras, and Damavix. Like I said earlier, this fit is pretty simple. It is easy farming, and as long as you're actually paying attention and, you know, mitigating damage where you can and picking the right targets, you shouldn't have any issues, really. One of the big downfalls of this fit is there's nothing you can do if you can't handle the damage. So I've not had any issues so far with, uh, except for the one scenario where I ran out of cap and came into a Kerbidus Tyrannos room unprepared. Other than that, I've had no issues where my tank couldn't hold up to whatever I had coming at me. So try this fit out and let me know what you think of it. If you have any questions or issues, let me know down in the comment section below. I am Torvald Ruse and I'll see you in the abyss. Yes.